Hey guys, Cameron here with Gale Force 9. Today I'm going to take you through the rulebook as we learn how to play Dune, Conquest and Diplomacy. In this video, I'll run you through the basics of playing a game of Dune, Conquest and Diplomacy. We'll start with a quick rundown of the contents and setting up for your first game, before going over the turn sequence and the win conditions. There's a lot to learn. So in the next few videos, I'll take a more in-depth look at some of the finer intricacies. But let's jump straight into the components and get set up for a game. I'll start with the center of the action, the game board. The planet Arrakis, or Dune, is divided up into four different types of territories. Sand territories, with their name in white. Rock territories, with a mountainous background. Polar sink in the center. And finally, Stronghold Territories, with a darker background and their names in black. Keep an eye on these. If a player has control of three of the Strongholds at the end of turns 3, 4, or 5, they win the game. Dune is also split up into 18 sectors by longitudinal lines. These sectors show the area covered by the storm as it moves around the board. Around the edge of Dune, there are some other useful areas. A turn tracker, a phase tracker, and the Tlilaxu... Tlilaxi... Frank, some help? Tlilaxu... Tanks. And the spice pack. There are four card decks to familiarize yourself with. This is June, so the spice must flow. And the spice deck will tell you where spice blows will deposit spice, or where the mighty sandworms will turn up. The battle deck provides weapons, defenses, and other cards for use in battle. The traitor deck, with a card for every leader disc, will be used to determine traitors in battles. And finally, the market deck, based on the Arakeen marketplace from the film, which includes plenty of tricks and tools to outsmart and outmaneuver opponents. Let's get them all set up for a game. First, assign player factions, either by preference, or if you're looking for a bit more spice, randomly, as suggested by the rulebook. And follow the instructions on each faction card to find your starting spice and forces. Now it's time to select your traitors. Shuffle all the traitor cards from the factions in play together, and deal four to every player except the Harkonnen, who have special rules found on their faction sheet. Each player gets to secretly keep one of these cards either selecting a traitor from an opposing faction, or securing a leader from their own. Having a traitor means that if you fight that leader in the battle phase, you instantly win, without losing any forces. So choose carefully. Return the other cards to the deck, and shuffle. Before we start play, it might help knowing how to win. So let's familiarize ourselves with what we're trying to achieve. The objective of Dune, Conquest and Diplomacy, is straightforward. Occupy three of the strongholds by the end of turns three, four, or five to claim a military victory. However, if the game reaches the end of turn five without this happening, the player with the most spice wins an economic victory, with any stronghold that is controlled counting as five spice. Play happens through seven main phases. There's a lot to learn about these phases, so I'll go over them more in the next video. But here's a brief overview. First, the storm phase to move, unsurprisingly, the storm around the board. The spice blow occurs, revealing the location of spice or sandworms on the board. Players then have the opportunity to gain battle or market cards. Forces and leaders can be revived, you guessed it, during the revival phase. Shipping a movement of forces to and around June occurs. Any battles over contested territories are fought in the battle phase. And after everything, the previous spice can be collected for moving back to the storm phase. Each player rolls the storm die to determine who goes first and takes the first player token, with the storm icon being the highest value, and the battle for Arrakis begins. The spice is ready to flow. Make sure you subscribe down below and click the bell to be notified when the next video drops, where I'll discuss the seven main phases in more detail. This is only the beginning. 